Before we talk about the event itself on February 10th there in Fort Smith, explain how this concept started, these night, night, night to Shine events. They've been going on for a while. Where did this all start? Right. Uh, this has been nine years in the making by the Tim Tebow Foundation. Uh, folks may remember Tim Tebow from his days at the Florida Gators and other um, NFL football franchises. But once Tim started a charitable foundation and he wanted to do good, they started a what they called a prom-like event to celebrate people with special needs. They call them the kings and the queens of the event. Now, that started nine years ago, and I believe 2016 was the first year that they took it nationwide. One of our members, Jordan Brown, heard about this, and he said, we've got to do this. And we really didn't think that we would have any hope of being selected. We didn't think it would really come about, but we were surprised when they chose us, and we had our first Night to Shine in 2017, and we launched out in a big effort that... Um, we, we weren't even sure how we were going to do it, but we did it, and people were blessed, and it's all God working in this to bring so many folks together for what is truly one of the most positive events you can experience. Talk about the event. What, what happens or what will happen on February 10th uh, there in Fort Smith? So what you're going to see when you come to Night to Shine on February 10th is you're going to see what the Tim Devo Foundation calls a prom-like experience. I call it prom plus. I, I, it is bigger than any prom I've ever seen or known of. There's going to be um, characters there that you can have your uh, picture with. There's going to be the royal treatment where our kings and queens will come in. They'll get uh, uh, treated nicely. They'll get their hair done, makeup, uh, shining shoes whatever it takes. And then they're going to be crowned and we're going to have city leaders and we're going to have um, other people who are devoting their time to crowning these men and women and saying that they are the, the most important people for this event. Then they get to choose. They can go to a limo ride where we'll take them on a limo ride around the block and they'll be let off at the red carpet where the crowd will uh, celebrate them and cheer they can go to the dance, they can go to the karaoke rooms, uh, they can have their pictures made, they can go to a meal, we've got a banquet there. We've also got a special hospitality room just for the caregivers, mm -hmm. for those who have family members or children with special needs. And they're part of our special focus of the evening as well. I know in a situation or an event this large, um, it takes a whole lot of volunteers. Um, who can volunteer and how easy is it to become a volunteer? I think that it's, it's relatively easy to become a volunteer. Uh, all you need to do is go to fsnight2shine.org and you look on that page and there'll be an option to volunteer. Volunteers are usually anyone 16 years old and up. Now, we do have some roles like the red carpet, where if you're younger than 16, that might be a place you can participate. But the, uh, the most important job of the evening are buddies. Buddies are the ones who get to do everything that the kings and queens get to do. They need to be 16 years old or up. Anyone can join. Anyone can be a part of it. You fill out your registration there at the website. And then you come to the event ready to have fun. You just follow them. You go where they go. We do have some special roles where we need people who are uh, maybe hair and makeup artists. Or if you just like to, uh, you know, do your sister's hair or something like that, you can come to that. We, we don't have to have professionals, just people who enjoy doing what they're doing. But you can see on the website all the different job descriptions that we have. Um, and... and and it's easy to get involved. And I would encourage people to sign up now and then contact us. And I, I will tell you these stats, this, this might be interesting. In 2020, the last year we did the full scale, we had 330 kings and queens. And that took 1,000 volunteers because they suggest that we have a three to one ratio. Uh, so you're right. It takes a lot of volunteers to do this. 
how, who has more fun at this, the kings and queens or the volunteers? <laughs> Everyone is having so much fun, we can't quantify it anymore. Um, I've got stories from both sides about people, how this has been the event they look forward to all year long. The families of the kings and queens, you got to know that it's very special for them to be able to take their ch their child or their loved one to an event like this where they're, the sky's the limit on how much fun you can have. Yes, and we those are some of the most touching stories of the event and the history of the event are the families who tell us that they were able to bring their son, their daughter, their brother, their sister, uh, wh whoever that is to them, and that they were treated with respect and they were treated special. They became the heroes of the evening. And um, there, there's one man that I talk to frequently and he talks about how his grandson looks forward to this all year long. Those are the stories that mean so much to us. And it's really because of them that we continue to do this. And I would encourage people to volunteer and you'll get to meet some of these people and it will make a difference. You'll, you'll meet some of the best friends that you'll ever make in those folks. I also wonder how many people have volunteered once and it was so much fun that they also look forward to coming back and volunteering again. That you're right, Darren, that is frequent. And that is why the, the volunteerism seems to grow year after year. Now we lost a little momentum with the last two years because we had to scale down the festivities because of uh, concerns about COVID. But now we're back up. So we want people, if they've ever been a part of this, to come and volunteer, but encourage your friends, can encourage your group, your, your worker, coworkers, uh, uh, whatever it is, people in your church, people in your professional organization, uh, your, your golf buddies, whatever it is, encourage them to come and be a part of this. And, uh, and you will, you'll want to come back. All right, February 10th from six to nine, uh, the West Ark Church of Christ there in Fort Smith. Uh, it's, I, you know, you can't describe how much, how important this is, number one, and how much fun it is. Um, I sure do appreciate the time and we look forward to being a part of the event as well.